But that's really the fundamental way of getting to it. Um, making sure either that signal is loud enough or frequent enough to give the nuclei a convincing enough reason to spend the resources. Because you have to remember two things. In order to grow new skeletal muscle, you need amino acids, which are your uh, supply. And then you need primarily carbohydrates as the energy source to power that synthesis process. So you remember basic chemistry that says if you're going to take two atoms and you're going to pull them apart or put them together, right? That's going to take energy. Typically, in, in most of actually metabolism, uh, when you split a bond, you're going to get, it's called exergonic, you're going to get energy from that. But when you put them together, that's going to take energy. This is why we call that protein synthesis, right? So you have to convince your nucleus that one, invest those resources in energy, primarily carbohydrate, but number two, and more important, invest that supply. There's a ton of possible ways to get energy, but there's a very low amount of amino acids available and you need them for many more things than just taking your biceps from 17 inches to 18 inches, right? It's not going to do that if you're in a position where, again, you can't sustain immune function, if, if red blood cell turnover needs to be higher or any of the other main, like tons of things that you need proteins for. So you have to be able to say like, are you sure? You really wanna spend these resources and build it into muscle because once we do that, it's very difficult to go backwards, break them back out and bring the amino acids back into the, to that availability pool so we can use them for either another function entirely or even a, another muscle group. Uh, that's called protein redistribution, by the way, when you say um, maybe you, you don't do um, a lot of upper body work in your training and you're not eating enough protein or a minimal amount and you're doing a lot of lifting in your legs, you'll, you'll notice your legs will get larger, but that's actually a lot of times you're pulling the protein from, say, your upper body in this case and redistributing it back down um, to the quads. So that's the way you have, that's what you have to get to.